Hello. Uh, good afternoon. Good morning, wherever you are. We are going to go ahead and start this um, event, which is all about electronic signatures and um, how we use BRM to manage them. So I'm going to go ahead and start sharing my screen. And then we'll tell you what we're going to cover in the meeting. OK, so application window. So we're going to cover two topics today, um, inbound and outbound for both digital signature, electronic signatures, and also customer registrations. Um, and we are also going to cover two different types of security mechanisms which we have in place as well. We have um, a mechanism whereby you can um, have fairly open security or pin-based, device-based security as well, depending on um, how secure you want to be. So let's dive in now. So the idea, for anybody who's not familiar, is that um, instead of using paper, you can get your customers to register on a tablet. So here we go. I'll leave the video on so you can see. So here we've got a Samsung, tag Samsung tablet. Now a lot of people use either these, or um, sometimes they use iPhones, um, or they use iPads. So it works with all of these devices. But first of all, we're going to look at inbound. So how do you get the data that you've got um, into your system. So let's go ahead and look at the first thing that we're going to do. So I've got my test user here. So imagine I'm doing it on the computer here so you can see my screen. But imagine they're going ahead and doing this on a tablet. They register themselves, marketing, put in their phone number. Um, they read your terms and conditions and liability waiver and accept. And then what they're going to go ahead and do is do their signature, and then they register. Now, the reason that you want to do this is so that you can accept inbound registrations into your BRM back office. So if I click on this, here's the customer that's just registered, test, test, test.com, all of the information that they've done, and including their signature. So that's just a little preview. It comes into this panel here, which is what we call the client ticker panel. So as customers' registrations come in from devices, maybe you have one on the front desk, your point of sale, you'll begin to see them in here. And it, it's, um, the customer is selected, meaning that he will be used for the next reservation. So let's go ahead and use this customer in a reservation. So here I'm going to make a booking for a mountain bike. I'm going to go ahead and book this person here. See, it's already got test person. So that's the same person that we use. We don't have to enter that information. It's already there. When I create the rental, then it is actually using that customer information, including the signature. OK, so that's the inbound mechanism. Um, what we did was we started with a device, customer did registration. It got beamed in to our BRM, came into the client ticker panel, automatically select that. And then when we create a reservation, that means that we're actually using that customer record. So let's have a look at another scenario. Um, let's go ahead and look when um, somebody is going to go ahead and book online. So this is the other, you know, really use case or, or, or workflow whereby you might want to involve um, signatures. But it's really what we call outbound. So in a minute, what I'm going to do is take um, an online booking. So here's one way of accessing our online booking for this particular demo store. And I'm going to go ahead and do a customer booking. So let's have a downhill bike, one of these guys. Again, this is just using some different options. You need to put in the customer weight. It's quite a nice little feature of that. Um, now, because I'm booking online, I don't have control over the customer's um, computer. So I don't know, um, I don't have an ability to be able to take a signature at this stage because I don't know what device they're on. OK, so they're going to go ahead and register. I'll update that later. OK. <laughs> Sorry, that's annoying. Where is it gone? There we go. There's a, there's a pump. OK, and I'm going to go down the book. So what I have now is a customer registration. And again, they can pay. But it's come into the back office. So let's go in back where we are here. And going to go to search 
find my new reservations. There's my booking, second person. And of course, it doesn't have a signature. So now, when I look at this, um, it's come in, and this is the one I just registered for my online booking. Um, and I can either do sign waiver here, or I can press it down here, sign waiver. I'm going to go ahead and beam that to my tablet. See, I get a little sign saying beam to tablet. And what that's going to do is on the registration device, I have to find out which one I'm using, it is going to beam that outbound to that particular customer. So let's go down now and find out. This is the other part of, it, of this um, discussion, which is all about settings and setup. So I'm going to go down to the um, registered devices area. And you see I've got um, tablet one. Let's go ahead and click to open that. Tablet one. That's the first one there. So I believe that I didn't have it open. I believe that is where the beaming is going to go to. So let's go ahead and do that again. So there you go. So it, it's um, beamed it to the tablet if I have it open. Um, there's the information. So the customer registered in the comfort of their home and they registered this information. They're now in a position, so maybe they've arrived in store. You're going to hand them the tablet or um, device so that they're going to be able to then sign, put a different signature in there. And then what that does is actually it up, up dates their customer record in real time with that signature. Okay, so it gets beamed into your back office. So what you're doing is you're sharing from your back office a registration that doesn't have a signature, beaming it to a tablet in your in your store. They're furnishing it with a signature and having read the terms and conditions, and then it comes back to you so that you can then store that information. So that's really what it's all about. Let's just have a recap. We did two-way um, communication there. We did, um, first of all, we registered on the device. It's actually the second device. And it came in to when we're creating a reservation and create mode into the customer ticker. We then use that to create a booking. The second thing we did was that we got the customer to book online without supplying an online booking. And then we then beamed that particular record um, in search mode to the tablet of our choice so that then they could add in a signature. Once they've done that, then um, that is stored against that customer. So that's nice because it's a customer signature rather than a reservation signature. Um, and we, of course, um, store all of these events, everything that happened. Um, so the electronic signature was taken at that time. So <clears throat> the next part of this meeting, um, I wanted to talk about how, how we go ahead and set this up. <clears throat> and I've touched on it before. We come down here into settings into um, the registered devices. And here is where we manage the list of devices that we have. So tablet one and tablet two. If I go over to this device here, it's called tablet one. Um, so therefore, you can have multiple devices. And you can decide which one is going to be the recipient of when you beam information to it. And which one, you know, because you could have two being inbound. You could have two on your front desk but letting customers register but only one of them being the one that you're going to beam details to. So that's the choice you have here. You can click on these guys. Um, and now we're going to have a look at how you're going to go ahead and set these up. So what we do is um, to start with, you're, you're given, I think, one device. And if you want to add new ones, then you can. So let's go ahead and add a new one. I'm going to call this one Samsung. So because I'm going to be using this, I want to know which device is, is connecting. So I'm going to say this is my Samsung tablet. Um, and I'm going to go ahead. And I don't think we're using pin security on here. But let's just have a look. that's the second option we're going to do is um, setting up security. But first of all, let's go ahead and do this. So um, if I look at this now, and I want to first of all connect my device. So I've got my Samsung tablet. And it hasn't yet connected to this, this tablet because that's brand new. So I'm going to go ahead and open my QR code. So let me just go ahead and, and open that up on my application here. So see, I've got an application to scan barcodes. 
I'm going to go ahead and scan that QR code, which is just a really quick way of me getting in that URL on this tablet. Okay, so now I can go directly to the endpoint that we've done here, the URL, so that we can actually open that up. And now I can start using this to register and indeed to beam to. Okay, so this can now be the recipient um, in the store. So if you want to connect a tablet simply or, or an iPhone, I've got an iPhone here which I was using earlier, um, you can scan the QR code and you can do it that way. If you don't want to do that, you can simply click on the link that we have here. It opens it up and you can copy that link and either type it into your device or email it to yourself or SMS it to yourself. But the QR code is just a quick way of actually just getting it onto that device. Right, so now the, the final thing that I want to cover um, in this short webinar is how you can set up security. So obviously you're dealing with um, secure customer information here, their registrations, etc. So we would highly recommend um, that you do use security. So this is another dummy store that we have here. In this particular case, I've actually set it up to use kiosk security. And that's actually the default. Um, all new stores have kiosk security. If you don't have kiosk security, then just go ahead and ask support, and we will enable that for you. Um, so let's go ahead and now look at the registered devices here. So let's just say um, that I'm looking at one of these devices. Because I've got security enabled, it tells me the name of the device and the pin code that is, is used in this case and the device. So I know that this is an iPhone that's attached to it. So it will not let another device attach to the same one. So here's my Samsung, not my iPhone. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go back. I'm going to find my, my scan. QR scanner, I'm going to go ahead and click on there, and now I'm going to open it up. So maybe somebody got hold of this, this address and they're trying to use it. Device not matched. Okay, it knows it's not an iPhone. It knows it isn't the device that registered. Um, so it doesn't even, doesn't even present them with the chance to get in. Okay, and similarly, if you had a device that got stolen, you can go in and disable that particular device or you can change the pin code um, so that they would need to use a different pin code to be able to connect. So we highly recommend using the security features that we have enabled for this, this mechanism. Um, and if you want to go ahead and, and have that enabled, just go ahead and ask us. Um, but like I said, it's very easy. You can set up one or more devices. You can delete them simply by deleting a whole row like that, which lets you start afresh. Um, and then, once you've decided on your security, the, um, the functionality is exactly the same. It's all about getting customer information from a tablet or phone into your back office system or getting an existing record that you have, um, maybe that was taken over the phone or online, and then adding a, a, an electronic signature to that. So that's pretty much the end of that. Um, coming soon um, in a framework of about a month, we're hoping to have this facility rolled out so you can do this when you're emailing um, your customers with a contract and you can get them to do this mechanism um, over email. So that's something we're actively working on at the moment. Um, but in the meantime, you can uh, go ahead and use this feature. OK, so um, let's just see if anybody wants to ask a question into, um, into chat here. If not, then we'll wrap things up fairly quickly, and we'll have we'll post this online um, so that people can watch this video back, and we'll have it as a resource um, for anybody who wants to use this feature. Okay. Well, I think. We've got a question coming in, so hang on a minute while we have a look at that.
Okay, so thank you, Matthew. Uh, question, only one tablet device can be beamed to. Um, is there the ability to tie the beam device to the sending device? For example, there are two POS terminals in my store. They currently have to share the iPad for signatures. Yeah, at the moment, you can only have one outbound device and it's the top one in the list. Um, but that's going to be one of the features that we're working on is the ability to um, dedicate which of them are going to be your outbound devices. Um, so have potentially multiple and potentially disable outbound as well. So you could make it inbound only um, for security reasons. But for the time being, I'm afraid it's only the top one um, that is the recipient of outbound beaming. Okay, got another question, I think. Okay, great. Well, listen, we'll keep this nice and short and sweet. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next webinar. Thanks very much. Bye.